Hello, puppet friend. Good to see you here. Are you quite well? Hello everybody, my name is Daniel and welcome to the Stampede. Today, we are back with Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion and we are already in the thick of it. I jumped right back in and this gentleman here decided to jump out. So we are just uh, getting away from him at the moment. Is he still chasing me? Oh, yep. And uh, unfortunately for me, but very fortunate for him, he can move through walls now. Because of course he can. That jerk. <laughs> that slimy, slimy jerk. Though I hope to be good friends with him by the end. If he hasn't already fallen in love with me. We'll see what happens. We turtles love our slime after all. I went the way with the blockage. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't get me. We'll see. His slowdown stuff is always so, like, nerve-wracking. I don't like to be walking with monsters nearby. Let's say that. Oh. Well. Seems like we might be okay. Fantastic. Oh, good. We're back to the, uh, the lounge area. Gentlemen, good to see you again. One turtle to another. Oh, great. I don't like these twisty rooms because I'm waiting for those little cardboard cutouts to pop up totally wreck my day. <laughs> we saw that, last time we saw that computer and it listed a great deal of the, the beasts that dwell within the mansion. And one of them was actually the cardboard cutout one who induces heart attacks, which I will confess it has nearly done with me several times. But that's okay. Oh. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at 30%. Mental health deteriorating, leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. Day two, you say? Oh. That's, uh... <laughs> that speaks to my soul somewhat. Clearly, this man is a reptile like myself. How lovely. Oh, my gosh. I hate these rooms. Ever since one of the monsters tried to head me off as I was going through here, backtracking, I've just... This room stresses me out so much. Yes, got it right. Sweet. No horrors for me today. Uh, left, left. Oh, left. No, it changed. Okay, left, straight, right. No, left, straight, straight, left. Oh, I guessed it. Sweet. Those could be so much worse if we weren't so darn lucky. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Nothing in this hall. That's the kicker for this series. Our, our episodes could either go very smoothly with little to no issue, or they could go very badly. Great, floor 300. Oh, hello kitty. Day three, hallucinations are manifesting at increasing intervals. The cause is probably sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I have not yet been injured, so I don't think the cause is a brain injury or a blood clot. Great. I mean, not great. But uh, great that we've made it here. <laughs> with, with so many other greats. So, the notes are a tad suspicious, because we've found them periodically as we ventured deeper into the mansion, but it seems to me like they might not be the same person because we did find a skeleton uh, supposedly belonging to the Romantic, which, oh my gosh. Good. Good. Now, now we're here. We're here with all the frightening ambiance and, you know, beautiful pink walls. <laughs> this is, oh, hello. Day four. I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. Hello? Oh, hello, little two-dimensional skull. <laughs> His eyes seem to follow me. Oh, hello, SCP-173. Good to see you as well. I did not know you followed me. Prison. Fantastic. Hello. 
Spookiest Mansion is like a prison. A prison with no walls or toilets. Day five. I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions, and I'm suddenly having I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. Oh no! You know who's good on weak hearts? Our cardboard friends. Oh, good. More notes. Day seven. I can't tell the real from unreal anymore. My limbs refuse to move the way I want them to. I feel like I'm wading in a deep river that is always flowing against my direction. Now I will lay down and let the river flow over me. I will let it guide me to its end. I... I know where I'm going anyway, this place, this entire place. It's just a job. What? Hello? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get out of here. I, I, something's following me, I don't know, oh jeez, I just saw it's corner. I'm sorry about the no, hopefully, hopefully you guys read it all, oh jeez, this thing is here now. Looks like, what did it say, anatomical symbols on the wall, I can't see a thing. Okay, oh. Alright, so take half a second. If you need to read the rest of the note, I, I think, I think it'll be fine, I think you can read the rest of it. I didn't see it though, so no spoilers. Did I just step into an N64 game? <laughs> One day a strange ranger came to his old handmade puppets and tried to get them all the children while they just stole from his gifts. But there, there we go. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's the puppet man. Oh, we, we read about this. Oh, I got a key. He came running the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove from the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface. This is a horrible story. Oh, I don't like this at all. Can I see your wall? No. Do I just go back? Oh, I guess so. Alright. So there's... I heard something. There's a puppet here that... Oh, goodness. Should he be ignored, or should he not be ignored? Oh, God. A key with a three. A key picked up. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. They almost seemed to look like the missing children. Of course they did. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers satisfied. Oh, because the man had... Alright. Okay. A horrible story. <laughs> Awful. Oh. Have a key? <gasps> Hello, puppet friend. Good to see you here. Are you quite well? Alright. Let's do a test. Nope, don't walk into him. Okay. Well, um... Bye! Oh! oh. Did he move? I bet he moved. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Make it run. I hear him. Clinking behind me, you puppet. Pinocchio looking. Get out of here! Be got Oh my gosh, you stupid pumpkin vegetable. I don't know. Pumpkins? I don't know. Oh, jeez, I got stabbed. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Spin move, spin move. Jeez. Oh, I don't like those rooms. If they can go through walls, I'm, I'm done. I'm done if they can go through walls in those rooms. Okay. My health is coming back slowly but steadily. Come on. Oh, man. My wooden friend is undoubtedly close behind. A wooden friend, would you please not stab me again? I'd appreciate it. So is he one of the missing children puppets, or is he one of the original puppets? He might be one of the original puppets. Uh, I want out of his domain. I don't know how- oh jeez, I got caught. Oh jeez! Oh gosh, I feel like he's super fast, because he caught up quick the last time. I almost suspect that they spawn 
in the room whenever you move to a new room. Just moments after you begin moving. Uh, that way they can't fall super far behind. I don't hear him anymore. I, I think we might be okay. Oh, jeez. He's creepy. And he looks, again, like we're in an N64 game. <laughs> Which, I guess the rest of the game kind of does. It's it's sharper. I, I don't know. It's definitely more polished. Oh, hello. You look awful bonely in there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Even puns can't save me now. <laughs> oh, the ambiance is getting more aggressive. Oh, okay. You all remember the long hallway that killed me. I, I still don't know what I'd do if I saw it again. I don't know how to fix my performance from last time. Oh, good. It's blank. Just to throw me off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not this room. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is a new one. No, it's not. Maybe? Maybe it is. Oh, oh, jeez, I got stuck on an edge. Oh my gosh, please don't be in the dark. Please don't be in the dark. Please don't be in the dark. Oh, jeez, the ambiance there was aggressive, to say the least. Oh, and all of a sudden it stopped. I'm sure that's a good thing and not at all a bad thing. I'm so ecstatic. So happy to be safe at last. Oh, please guess. I don't think it's ever been to the right in all the history. It might have been. It might just be passive ambiance. I don't think they're actually building to something. Nope, wrong way. It's okay, though. I can't tell if anything's following me. Which, I guess, adds to the creepiness. I don't know if I'm being followed. We're almost there, though. We can make it. And hopefully not get shanked. Still, there was something after me that stabbed me that I never got to see. I'm guessing it was in the wall. Uh, we played those games. I think we're good. Come on, one more floor. Here we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Stressful. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's no, there's no middle point. Oh, man. Oh, man. Cat DOS again. Is this the same specimen database as before? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Well, it's good seeing you again, Cat Doss. I'm gonna get out of here. Get out of your hair. Okay. Let's see where we're going. I love that pun. You've, you've, what is it? You've cat to be fluffy kitten right now. You've got to be fluffy kitten me right meow. That's what I'll say the next time I die. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we gotta go straight 100 floors for this one. And just hope we make it. Um, I'm feeling good. I don't know. That said, there's a long way to go, so... Charity auction. <laughs> Blank. It's possible I found all the notes, so any notes I find now are, like, uh, just blank. Because they would have something on it, but I've already found that note. There's no telling, though. Oh my gosh. It's too quiet now. Uh, spooky. I do not appreciate your mansion. I do not. I'm not afraid to say it, either. Uh, left. Straight. Straight. Left? Left. Straight. 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 Ah! Sweet! That wasn't too bad. I Like I said, those could be so much worse. We tend to get kind of lucky with them. That or they're meant to be solved in a few tries. It's also possible. But it feels like we do a pretty good job stampeding through those. And I don't mind <laughs> less time spent in the foggy death area. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, hello, Skull. <laughs> Good to see you here. Oh. Wow. No, which door? Okay. Okay! Oh, I love the little kitten in the box. You've got to be fluffy kitten me right meow. Alright, everybody. That was our newest episode. Oh, GL Labs. Oh, man.
the plot thickens thicker. That was our newest episode of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I hope you enjoyed it. A little slow today, but that's all right. We'll get we'll get moving. Probably do more floors in the future. That was a hundred floors or so. So we're making progress. We're getting to, uh, we're getting there. Six hundred more to go. But please leave a like and a subscribe if you feel so inclined. I hope you enjoyed it. But if not, let me know what else you'd like to see down in the comments below. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.